Hey, it's me, Luton's Deadpool. I've been asked to do a score prediction for this weekend's game between Swansea City and Luton Town for the Real Jack Army. I predict that the score is going to be 2-1 to Luton this weekend, and I'm calling the goal scorers as Adebayo for Luton. Um, and then I would say uh, Alan Campbell, I feel like he's going to come on and get, get one as well. And then uh, Olivier and Cham for, for Swansea. But we're getting our first winning season. Common you hatters. Now, obviously, we haven't started the season well. And as someone that's quite excited about how our off-season had panned out, that's not good. We, last season, played a, a version. It's not full ball, but it's a version of Ishmael Ball. And obviously, designed two forward players who were so successful at Barnsley under Ishmael made a huge amount of sense. However, the loss of Cal Naismith, despite him actually not being a particularly outstanding centre-half, he does a lot of stuff that looks good on highlight reels, but defensively he's much too chancy for my liking, which obviously creates those highlight reel plays and also creates giving away penalties and stuff as anyone that watched a lot of ourselves on telly at the back end of last season. Would have seen once we started getting a lot of Sky games. What we have missed though is his ball progression, his ball progression and his aggressive intent to press us up the field. It helped the midfield out and obviously it allowed us to unlock teams once they started sitting on us. We haven't been able to press or execute in anything like the way we had done last season. It's led to such a poor start to the season. Speaking as a Welsh Cretonian that knows obviously a lot about a Swansea to a degree and obviously someone with a huge appreciation that a lot of other fans might not have of particularly Joe Allen I'm worried stiffless about with us unable to do that what that Swansea team with Joe Allen ticking things over might be able to do to us and I think we are looking at a 2 3 0 defeat here if we're not careful and Maybe other Femi gets underway because, well, I backed him to be top scorer. And uh, although he's missed some, he's he's getting the positions. You can tell that, and he looks like he will score soon. And that Piru Oba Femi combination as a front two should quick at some stage. And we are just making mistakes defensively that will allow that kind of space in. And you can imagine that. The other goal maybe comes from a wing-back position because we're considering a lot of goals like that so far this season. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to say 2-0 to Swansea with Oberfemby getting one and what, Rutebeckio getting the other?